Greetings, I am Hosea David and I welcome you to today's teaching. I want to talk about how we can overcome our human weaknesses. And today I want to talk about what we can expose, what, who we should expose our weaknesses to and who we should hide it from. But today I want to talk about who we should expose our weaknesses to. Uh, Mark chapter 9, verse 22. And awful times it cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that, that believeth. And straight away the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. This man had some level of unbelief, and he did not hide it uh, when he came in contact with the Savior. He said, he cried out and said, Lord, help thou my, mine unbelief. I have some unbelief, but I want you to help me. I have a principle in life which I have adopted and I use it to live my life. And the principle is that hide your weaknesses from those who cannot help you, but expose it to those who can help you. A lot of people actually resort to suicide, to committing suicide and harming themselves and even choose to die with their problems because they feel that nobody should know about it. But a problem shared with the right person is actually a problem that is on its way to getting a solution. Many people feel that they, there's no need to actually share their problems with people. They don't like to expose their weaknesses to people. But the truth is that there is the right person to expose your weaknesses to, and there is the wrong person you must not expose it to. For instance, if you uh, meet with Jesus Christ and he asks you, what can I do for you? You have to open up and tell him, oh, I am blind, I want to see. Uh, many of us do not actually understand. A lot of people do not understand why Jesus would see a blind person as they ask a blind person, what can I do for you? We are independent human beings. We have, I mean, we have independent will. We can, we have the right to choose whether to be helped or not. And Jesus will always ask, what can I do for you? Are you willing? Can I help you? Open up to him. If you come in contact with someone who can help you, an expert, please open up. Do not hide your weakness, your disease from someone who can help you. Jesus Christ said, it is the sick that needs a physician. If you are sick, you need a doctor. So if you are face to face with the doctor, why will you hide your sickness from a doctor? Why will you hide your weaknesses? It is actually the amount of information you give to the doctor that we help the doctor to diagnose, to diagnose what is actually the problem. But if you hide vital information for instance if he's uh, checking your body and he touches your abdomen uh, are you feeling pain if he asks you are you feeling pain you said no when you actually are feeling severe pains then he touches your leg you said are you feeling pains and you said yes i'm feeling pains when you are not feeling pains then you are actually not doing yourself good if you go before a doctor tell him your weaknesses. Oh, I love sugar. I eat a lot of sugar. I consume too much fat. Open up to him because he is in the position to help you. Do not hide your weaknesses from those who can actually help you come out of it. There are some things that we suffer that we've tried a lot of times to actually come out of them, but we've discover that the more we try to come out, the more we see ourselves failing. What you need could just be talking to someone 
and then solution will come out. Sometimes some people feel that they need prayers, they need to be laid hands on, and then and then their problems will be over. But I discovered that over the years in ministry, I discovered that some people just need counseling. Maybe something they don't understand. Just giving them the right word. Okay, you do it this way. Do it this way. Or probably you are not having enough sleep. It is not prayers you need. Just take time to rest. And the problem could become over. Please, look for the right person to share your weaknesses with. There are people who have passed through what you are passing through right now. And there are ways they actually came out of it. So if you talk to someone who, for instance, who used to have problem of lust, and they are able to solve it, and you know they used to have that problem, today they have the victory, and they are in the position to help you, why not open up to them? Please hide your weaknesses from people who cannot help you, but expose them to people who can actually help you. For instance, uh, if you have someone who is burning with lust and you are burning with lust and you decide to tell them, I have problem with lust, uh, probably the person is an opposite sex. You have exposed yourself to danger. Uh, the next video I'm going to talk about who you shouldn't expose your weaknesses to. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and I pray that the grace of God will rest upon all of us and keep us even as we walk in this narrow path to our place of eternal rest. And um, if you need prayer, you can contact me, hosannadavid at ymail.com or info at hosannadavid.com. Don't forget that we are in a very terrible times and we need to help one another to overcome as we await the return of Jesus Christ. Keep your garments white. If you are falling, please rise up. If you are standing, please be watchful and don't let anything discourage you or take your crown from you. God bless you. Bye-bye.